Hey everybody, this is Jen from Garden Jen's Journey. Welcome to a big reveal. Today I'm going to be opening up some jugs um, and I'm going to show you what they look like. These are um, jugs that um, I have planted, some of them as far back as February because uh, I had a lot of jugs to plant so I started early. So I'm going to take you along and I'm going to show you a couple of different varieties that um, it's time to open them and let them get ready be, to be transplanted. So I'm going to turn you around and I'll show you what they look like. Okay, so we're going to go over here. I'm going to show you these ones first. See the tape from opening the jugs? This is my little trash bin here. Alright, so over here is a few and I've tried to set them all together because I have jugs scattered everywhere. So yeah, so I've tried to put them together so you, uh, we wouldn't have to be going all over the place. Alright, so in this bunch we have some karabi. We have two different varieties, um, maybe just one. Uh, yep, yeah, might just be one. <clears throat> I have um, purple Vienna karabi, then I've got some sunflowers, I've got some chamomile here, and I'm going to open up the jugs and you're going to see what they look like. So we'll start with the sunflower. So there is what the sunflower looks like. This is my sunrise. I do have another sunrise sunflower right behind it. It's not quite ready yet to be opened. Still a little small. And then um, my bigger sunflowers have not even sprouted yet. There's nothing in there yet. All right, and then we have purple Friana karabi. And uh, I overseed a lot of my um, brassicas and everything. So they're a little small yet, but they're big enough for that they need to be transplanted. So I'll show you my karabi. So aren't those guys beautiful? Same thing with my chamomile. Those seeds are very, very tiny, so I overseeded. Aren't those gorgeous? Yeah. So let's see. And there's another chamomile right there. So those are those guys. And um, it's going to be a little bit cool today, so I'm just leaving the, the tops on them um, with them open like that. And uh, they'll get the rain that's coming, some fresh air to circulate and things like that. And then probably, uh, depending on the weather, they'll be transplanted in the next couple days um, into either pots for uh, sale because um, the extras we go to the farmer's market with or into their uh, forever homes in the garden. All right, over here is our next set that we're doing, and these are all flowers over here, the ones that I'm going to show you today. Uh, we have calendula, safflower, which is considered the poor man's saffron, and then we also have a couple of jugs of bachelor buttons. So let's open these guys and see what they look like. All right, there's the bachelor or the calendula, or calendula. That's how I used to always pronounce it until somebody told me it's calendula. Anyways, this is one jug of calendula, our safflower, and these look almost quite similar, don't they? <laughs> but I assure you, they're different. This has got toothed edges, and these these are rounded, but very nice looking seedlings. And then our bachelor buttons, aren't they gorgeous? So yeah, I'll be um, transplanting them into their new homes in a couple days. So um, that's the big real reveal for today. I do have some more calendula and some other jugs of the same seeds that I just showed you that they're not quite there yet, but that's okay. Um, these jugs uh, have shown me again that this process works. So thanks for watching everybody. Have a blessed day. Bye!